So we've compared the audio differences between a 7 circle audio N72 and a real Neve 1272 preamp. Now we're going to go take both of the preamps into our shop, open them up, and compare the physical differences for you. Let's see what we find. The unit that you see right here is an actual 1272 uh, from a Neve console. Uh, a guy named Brent Averill back in the day used to get these out of the consoles and put them in a rack. So there's two of them in here. Uh, this is one of them that uh, unfortunately is broken right now. So that's one reason why we have it apart. But another is we're going to be able to compare it with the N72 and look a little bit at the construction of it. Now this is 1970s construction. So as you can see, it's, it's okay, but it's a little ragged and rough. Um, these are the uh, transformers for this unit. And let me flip this over. This is a Carnhill. This is the original vendor for the transformers for Neve consoles and uh, mic pre's, etc. <laughs> um, like I say, it's it's it, it it's a nice unit, but you know it's 1970s technology, so it's not uh, super neat in the way that it's put together. So now let's take apart the N72. So as Rob's taking it apart right now, uh, we want to make a note that Seven Circle Audio actually built this for us. These units can come pre-assembled like this one, or you can build it yourself, but we're going to look at exactly how they build them. And there we have the unit. Okay, so now it's apart. If you'll notice, Carnhill Transformers. So Seven Circle Audio is using uh, transformers from the same vendor as the original Neve. But also notice it's a different type of construction in that this would be... Uh, a printed circuit board with uh, through holes. This one is printed circuit board, but it's much more primitive than this one. But of course, that stands to reason because, you know, 1970s technology, 2020s technology. Um, really well built. Um, the resistors that they use in these, I, I happen to know are. Uh, like one percent resistors and they're really neatly put in soldered nicely this transformer i don't know if it's a car or not i would suspect strongly that it is but that's all i can say you could contact the vendor if you really wanted to know but you see it's pretty much the same unit it's just in a different package and it's with uh, much more modern components technology um it's about all i can say about this Really a nice looking unit, particularly Definitely for the looks, money. It looks very well made. They did a really good job doing it, as you can see. And we know that it already sounds very good too. Yeah. Um, and this has all the features that this has. It has a DI, has, in fact, it has more features, now that I think about it. This old unit right here does not have a, a, a pad, or nor does it have a, a phase reverse switch on it. All it has is phantom power and, and gain and output, and that's it. So this one uh, is actually an improvement. Like I've shown you guys, but you can see right here as well. Yeah. Everything on the faceplate of this unit. Yeah, very nice unit. I'm real impressed. If I didn't have any of these already, I'd probably buy one of these or two.